Welcome back to another video on the 900 rebuild series. Today, we've got a lot of little jobs we've got to take care of to get this thing ready for the engine to go back in. You might be wondering why I'm holding my old cracked coolant tank in here that is not only disgusting, but uh, probably non-functional. Well, this is one of the items that we need to replace in today's video. Now that the paint is cured, if you missed my previous video where we painted every little thing in this engine, check that out in the top corner. Highly recommend it. It's one of my favorite videos I've ever done. We need to begin reassembly of things like the cylinder head, the intake manifold, putting the wastegate back on the turbo, etc. And when you guys see how well that turned out, you're gonna be amazed because I was absolutely blown away and it just gets me more excited to put this back into the car. There's also some other little things like new hoses and clamps, a new slave cylinder line, and more. So without further ado, let's get to it. This long hard line here is just so awkward to put on. You need to clear out like a bunch of space for it. Just circle around like this. A couple of these back lines. Let's get all of these pieces back onto our cylinder head. Cause you're gonna get burned. I was just looking at old pictures to see how exactly this bracket went on and man, it looked so much better before this was all cleaned up and painted. I mean, it really puts into perspective how big of a difference it makes. But let's get this bracket reinstalled. <laughs> Since everything else in here has been cleaned, painted, and everything, this coolant tank is going to look very out of place. So I figured might as well just order a new OEM one. This was about $70, so not too bad. And I could have tried to clean this one, but at the end of the day, it's 35 year old plastic. So it's probably best to just replace it anyways. Yeah, I would say there's no way I would have gotten this one that clean. Actually though, now that I've noticed it, I am gonna spray paint this real quick because this can look kind of gross and dirty going in the new clean part. Yeah, 
Next, let's replace the slave cylinder line. It runs from the master cylinder right there all the way down and basically all the way up to the slave cylinder. I'm hoping that this cup here will catch all the brake fluid, but I guess we'll find out. Oh wow, I thought that was going to lose a lot more brake fluid. I thought my whole reservoir was going to open. But I guess the master cylinder is probably holding that up since I'm not pushing in the clutch, which actually makes sense. It probably just drained out what was actually in the cylinder. Now that I think about it, I probably went a little overkill there, but better than uh, losing a bunch of paint on my engine bay. Here's a quick look at the original one. You can see I obviously didn't clean it up because I knew I was going to be replacing it, but this hose here is just... It's 30, 35 years old, so it definitely could have benefited from being replaced. Next, I wanna tackle something a little bit less greasy and disgusting, and that is starting to one, reassemble our intake manifold, which we'll do later in this video. But secondly, I wanna paint all of the hardware that's on this engine. Some of the bolts have just naturally gotten painted as I painted the parts that they attach to, whereas others have been sitting in bags and are not painted. Let's start off with our valve cover bolts. I'm just going to degrease these and then we can paint them. Do you wanna save a life? Cause I just really need someone. I've been barely holding on. And I'm still running from my demons. Manifold is all back together, looking great. I'm super happy with how this turned out. It's not perfect, but it's a million times better than it used to be. So uh, we've got a couple more charge pipes and little pieces we just got to reassemble now that the paint on these items is cured. The things that I've been needing, I'm just hoping you give me a reason to go. thing I've noticed as I've been reassembling everything and as I clean the hoses, hoses off in the last video is a lot of these clamps you can see are, uh, well, 35 years old most likely. Some of them have been replaced over time. I know I replaced this one last year as with this one right here. So I went to Harbor Freight and I got a couple of hose clamp kits. So I figure let's just replace all these clamps since everything else looks nice. These gross old, some of them are pretty corroded hose clamps. Um, could use an update, let's just say. So what we're gonna do now, let's uh, swap all these out. You know what to 
say Every time I start to slip away And I surrender Well, after replacing all these hose clamps, some of my fears were concerned. That being, a few of these coolant lines really should be replaced. First off, this is the huge radiator hose here. For the most part, it's in pretty good shape. It's still nice and soft, but this right here, you can see there's a crack in that hose, which is a bit concerning. Um, we also have this hose right here. It's just one of the return line hoses, just completely just old brittle smashed from the old clamp this piece right here actually uh snapped off you might have seen that briefly in the time lapse so i had to cut it back and honestly that does not look good at all i'm going to change that before we install it back in the car it looks terrible so with all this in consideration i think i'm going to go ahead and order the d88 coolant hose kit which will uh completely swap all these hoses out with good high quality do 88 stuff so kind of sucks um i wasn't anticipating doing this but it'll be a huge upgrade and i'm super excited for it so i guess we'll do that in another video but at least it's got new hose clamps which doesn't even matter anyways because the do 88 kit comes with new hose clamps <sighs> well i'd say that makes for a successful video things are starting to go back in the car slowly but surely our new coolant tank new slave cylinder line bunch of parts back together and more. Seeing how good these little brackets and things just turned out and look back in the engine bay, I also went ahead and cleaned this one up. I didn't paint it, one, because I'm basically out of this cold paint, and two, I tested the air box and it's really not even visible. I hate to say it, but this intake manifold, I just can't get over how good this looks with our new vacuum lines, as well as being painted and cleaned up, as well as the turbo looks so good. Thank you guys all so much for watching. In the next video, we've got some really dirty work to take care of, mainly rebuilding these axles, power steering boots, and some more. So I'll see you guys next week for that video. Give it a thumbs up if you enjoyed, and I'll see you all next time.